Hi friends, this is EL6503 Unit 4 Cell Phone Technology Lecture taken by Dr. M. R. Gadwe. In this lecture, we will be focusing on frequency synthesizer, logical unit and the control unit. Frequency synthesizer is basically the unit which develops all kind of signals used by the transmitters and the receivers. So you having a all kind of transmitters and receivers signals and that is basically given the green signals by the frequency synthesizers. It consists of it used or uses a standard phase lock loop circuit. The phase lock loop circuit and the mixture you will find it out a crystal controlled oscillator the basically crystal controlled oscillators are always advisable because very precise frequency is going to be generated so a crystal controlled oscillator uh, provides the reference signals for the uh, phase lock loop circuits that is a PLL one PLL incorporated with the voltage controlled oscillator let us say number 2 and if you look at to the circuit then this is a crystal controlled oscillator this is a mixture but it is a phase detector this is a local phase locked loop circuit this is so phase lock loop circuit is connected to the voltage controlled oscillator and when it is going to the mixture there is a feedback of the through the frequency divider this frequency divider get the logical signals and it will generate the feedback so let us focus with this then the phase lock loop circuit incorporated with the voltage controlled oscillators let us say we are talking about VCO2 then the output frequency is used to <coughs> local oscillator for the first mixture of the receiver so then this one will go to the first stage of the mixture so this is your phase lock loop uh, circuit and this phase lock loop circuits where it is connected with the voltage control oscillator and outcome of the voltage control is become the uh, input of the uh, receiver of the <coughs> first phase as the PLL that is a phase lock loop circuits the output of the VCO frequency is determined the frequency division ratio of the divider. So this signals will decide the frequency division divider ratio and which is supplied to the MTSO. So here se MTSO ko information di jati hai and that, that MTSO uh, is via cell site so this information is coming via cell site so when mobile unit is initiate or activate or switch on to giving a call to someone so when a mobile unit is initiate or uh, receiving a call the MTSO computer will select the MTSO computer will select a channel for either transmission or the receiving and in this transmitted digital coded signal and then a transmitted a digital signal uh, code to the receiving containing of the frequency division ratio of a transmitter or the receiver so I repeat when the mobile unit is switch on just a mobile unit up a chalu hai 
द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिसीव अ कॉल और इधर यू आर ट्राई अटेम टू कॉल और यू आर रिसीविंग अ कॉल द एम टी एस ओ दैट इज़ अ मोबाइल टेलीफोन स्विचिंग ऑफिस एंड इट्स एस्पेशली कंप्यूटर विल सिलेक्ट अ वन चैनल विच इज प्रिस्क्राइब टू द यूजर सब्सक्राइबर एंड इमीडिएटली सेंड अ डिजिटल कोड सिग्नल टू द रिसीवर कंटेनिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी डिविजन रेशियो फॉर द ट्रांसमिशन एज वेल एज द रिसीवर एम आई क्लियर विद दिस एंड इन शॉर्ट वंस यू हैव दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी सिंथेसाइजर वंस यू अटेम्प्ट टू गिव अ कॉल इमीडिएटली दिस सिंथेसाइजर विल सेट अ ट्रांसमिट और रिसीविंग चैनल फ्रीक्वेंसी सो चैनल इज सेट बाय द इन जनरल फ्रीक्वेंसी सिंथेसाइजर द नेक्स्ट पोर्शन वी वुड लाइक टू डिस्कस दैट इज अ लॉजिक यूनिट नाउ इन द लॉजिक यूनिट basically it contains a master control of the entire cellular radio or entire mobile or entire cell phone so logic unit is you can say the heart of this one it is made up of a microcontroller with a ram and rom both together plus additional circuitry are also there which is interpreting a signal from the mtso and the cell site generate the control signal transmitted and the receivers right so this is everything over there all the cellular radios which contains the programmable read only memory that is a rom and or the programmable read only memory so it's a prom prom and this prom is getting burn when you are purchasing any mobile and just switch on the mobile so this prom is getting burn and your nam that is a number assigned module within that you having a mean that is a mobile identification number is registered with the prescribed mtso or computer of the mtso and your information or your, the information about your cell phone will be permanently registered in the mtso office so this is a cpu a microprocessor you have a ram and rom you having also the input about the na na nam that is a uh, that is the number assignment module and uh, uh, through the data bus you can continuously uh, in connections with the in, uh, input and output interfaces circuits okay so the last point that is a control unit and this control unit uh, contains basically a handset with the speaker and microphone very the last part of the unit of that one uh, and the handset is used in the regular telephone or the mobile unit however this circuit will built into the हैंडसेट यूनिट ओनली तो आपका जो यूनिट के हैंडसेट है उसमें ही ये पोर्शन आता है सो द मेन कंट्रोल इज कंटेन द कम्प्लीट टच टोन डिजिटल सर्किट एज वेल एज द एल सी डी कंट्रोल सो आपका जो टच टिंग टच टोन का डायलिंग सर्किट है जो फोर्टीन पिन की डायलिंग पिन है दैट कंट्रोल ओवर देर यू हैविंग सम एल सी डी कंट्रोल इज ऑल्सो देर यू हैविंग सम इंडिकेटर्स ऑल्सो देर so everything is done by the handset uh, device uh, equipment uh, buttons and uh, implemented uh, manually control functions there is a microprocessor memory permits the strong and often called the numbers and the auto dial features are also there and this is the block diagram of the control unit so it's 10 digit lcd uh, other few indicators and the 12 t 12 key uh, touch uh, touch pad uh, key and this everything is controlled by a microprocessor ram and rom so this is the portion of the controlled unit now uh, let us discuss 
the operational processor procedure so as the operator is applied the power to the unit jaise hi ki aapne phone chalu kiya this turns the transmitter and the receiver turant hi transmitting and the receiver function will be chalu ho jayega the receiver seeks the open control channel and 21 controlled or the paging channels are used to establish initially contact with the cell and mts right and when a contact is made with the cell site read the nam and mean that is a number assignment module as well as the mean that is a mobile identification number by the mts or computer it should get verified and then your mobile is said to be the activated the operator will enters the number to be called by the keyboard fourth point will be the operator will send a telephone number to call by pressing a send or a call button right so once you press this uh, keypad so it will the number will be registered into the rom and when you press the dialing button the phone will be connected or if the phone is receiving then also you have to connect at the button and the phone will be activated the cell phone and mtso search for an open channel and the send the frequency data to the cellular trans receiver because the cellular trans receiver is is always in the optional mode through an isolator either only transmitter or only the receiver the rssi the receiver signal strength indicator signals is read to determine the optimum cell selections well it is done by the mtso but it is just an advantage yes one handshake signal and the exchange significantly the contact has been established the mtso call the designated number conversion takes place if the mobile unit is passes from a one cell to the other the mtso sends the rssi signal and hands off the mobile signal from one cell to the another cell i think hands off this uh, is is a, is an adjective which is widely used in the cell phone technology which means that when you are moving from a one weaker cell to the one stronger cell you are switched your connections of the cell is switched from a one cell to the another cell and that situation is known as the hands off situations and uh, the call is terminated then finally you can terminate it so when a mobile unit is receive a call the mtso that is a mobile telephone switching office and the self site is transmit a signal containing the min over a control channel and the trans receiver monitors the control the channels identify its mean and then only turns on so this is how basically a mobile phone is working with this i am stopping here thank you so much for paying attention stay home stay safe good luck